In this lesson, I'm going to show you two things. I'm going to show you something called threading. And in threading, that is allowing more than one thing to happen at the same time with Python, because the main loop of the window kind of takes over and doesn't let anything else happen until the main loop stops. So that's the first thing I'm going to show you. Actually, the first thing I'm going to show you is how to put sound and we'll also do threading so that the sound and your window can happen at the same time. So the first thing we're going to do is import a couple libraries. We'll import the threading library and we'll import the subprocess library. So the threading library allows more than one thing to happen at the same time. The subprocess library allows us to play some sound. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, I want to be able to run two things at the same time. So I'm going to put this new window, this, this original window that we are going to begin with in a function. So I'll say um, starts the main window. And I'm going to call this the start screen. Okay, I need to indent all of this because it's now inside of this function. And everything that goes along with the start screen needs to go in this function. So if you'll remember, down at the bottom, we had some buttons, or a button and some labels, and also the main loop. So I'm going to cut all of this from the bottom. I'm going to paste it up here in my, my new function. This stuff didn't indent like it should have, so I'm going to indent this stuff. Okay. So now the start screen is here all in a function. So if we call this start screen, it will open the new window. But if you'll notice down here in my game screen, so this is where the game happens, window is highlighted or underlined in red because now I created the window in a function. That means the window doesn't exist outside of that function we just created up above. So to fix this, we're going to make this window that we created We'll make it global and we'll make it global here so it's using the same window. Now Python's happier and we need to call the start screen. So let's go down here and we'll call the start screen. Let's make sure everything works the way we think it should before we go on and do more fun stuff. So when I press play, here's my start screen. When I click that, everything's working like it should. Okay, so now that we've tested that, let's add some sound to this. So let's, let's add some music. I don't actually have music. Oh, I meant to show you what this sounded like outside. I'll show you right now. So this ta-da sound, that's the sound I'm using. So that's the, 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 um, the clip that I found. You can find any clip you want, but I need to make sure that clip goes inside of the file, just like we've done with all the images. So now that tada.wave is inside this file. Okay, so let's create a function that starts the music. Um, creates the game soundtrack. It's a horrible soundtrack, but it's good enough to get things started. So let's start the music. Um, to do that, there's only two lines of code. It's kind of Cool. I'm going to create a variable. This is my start sound, and it's going to be my tada wave file. Okay, so that's the start sound, is that the name of that file. And there's only one thing I need to do. Now, for what I'm about to do, I don't need to create a variable for this next part, but if you want to get more creative with this, like I want it to play and then I want it to stop, you need to give it a variable name. So I'm going to call this play the start sound. I'm not going to use any of that here. I'm going to let you play around with that. So in the subprocess library, I want to call on this function. So notice the parentheses, the bracket, the quotes, af play. So we're going to play, comma, that start sound. That's all it takes to play a sound it is those two lines of code. And really, you don't even need the first one, but we're going to do it that way. So. Let's call this start music and I want to show you the issue. So we'll do the start screen and then we'll do the start music. So watch what happens. 
there's the start screen, but I don't hear the start music. But watch what happens when I close this. Now the music plays. That's because this start screen is on a main loop. That main loop is taking over everything. Nothing else can happen at the same time. So we're gonna introduce, I'm gonna introduce something called threading to you. So we're gonna create a new function. I'm gonna do it here at the bottom. Um, creating a thread for the music. So we'll call this start music. And with threading, there's also only two lines of code. First of all, I need to create the first thread. So we're going to say in the threading library, let's create a new thread. And when this thread is created, I want the target. In other words, I want you to go to the start music function. I'm not going to put the two parentheses after that's not necessary. It's kind of like when we do a button with the command of getting started, I did not need parentheses. Same here, the target is like the command to call that function start music. And then the last thing I need to do is start this thread. Okay, so let's give it a try. We're going to, oops, not start music. Start music was the name of the thing up above. We're calling this one, sorry, we're calling this one start threads. That was my bad. We can't call it the same function as the one up above. So this will start all of the threads. Right now we've only got one thread. So we'll call this start threads function. And it should play the music and open the start screen. So let's watch. Play the music and open the start screen. But I don't want it to just do that one time. I want the music to keep playing over and over again. So there's multiple ways you can do it. I don't want to kill my my user with obnoxiousness, but I'm going to put this in a loop. So I'm going to say for I in range, oh, let's just run that like five times. And then they'll get annoyed enough that they'll want to just press play and start the game. So I can loop that sound over and over again. Okay, let's run it and see how it goes. obnoxious and now you have sound in your game. Have fun with it.